Hi everyone. So today we are uh, today our topic of discussion is control chart. So control chart is available in both the template of uh, Atlas like Jira setup. It's also available in Scrum and and it's also available in Kanban kind of a template. So what is the uh, what is the benefit of a control chart? So as a Scrum master, as a project leader, as a program manager or whosoever is controlling the work, they actually want to watch the trends. Like, what is the trend going on? Are we moving into the right direction? Or we are, our performance is getting declining. So control chat help us in that particular area. Majorly it is used in Kanban because uh, uh, in Kanban we are creating tasks and those tasks are actually moving from one status to another status. And we want to track like what is the throughput and how much time we are taking uh, to complete those tasks. So let's move into the report section. So you can say like this is a Kanban board, just click on the report section and you would watch like there are only two charts available over there. One is cumulative flow diagram, another one is control charts. Just click on the control chart. So you can see like uh, this kind of a page is visible to us. You can see over here uh, for visibility, these kind of symbols are being used. You can say like this kind of single and uh, efficiency is like if our graph is moving at through the downward direction so it means our efficiency is increasing decreasing rolling average means we are taking less time to uh, complete uh, our work and predictability if our this uh, standard deviation is getting lesser and lesser so our work is getting more predictable so we can predict our future in a better sense so here we have those level as well, like this uh, for single issue, this is for a cluster of issue. This red line shows the average from the whole period, whatever the period is being selected. Currently it is for the full cycle. So this is the rolling average. So it uh, the rolling average can be set of uh, one week or 10 days, so it's up to you. So it show you the latest average of the time. A standard deviation, like how much time it is being taken during uh, said period, uh, what is the range of uh, the issues those are getting fixed? Like how much start time and end time is being averagely taken to solve the issues, to fix those issues or to move the status into the dark status. So average is three days and 15 hours. So you can see like it's a three days and 15 hours. Then we have uh, maximum time is taken by any issue is uh, four weeks, six days and four hours. So overall 157 issues. So it's a good amount of data available to show you like what this chart is doing. So you can also refine this. You can uh, update this chart based upon last two weeks, uh, past month, three months, six months. Currently the status is set up for uh, all time, at all time now. So currently we are just getting the control chart because we have selected, uh, selected for development, then in progress testing and done status. Okay, so not done status because it would increase the time over there. So only three status, like stand uh, selected for development, in progress testing, and when all these items are done, so this standard deviation is created based upon that. So cycle time is when an item is picked for the development till that uh, is completed into the uh, done status. So that is the complete cycle time for a particular item, right? If we just want to check the lead time, lead time is when item is put into our backlog, how much time it is being taken to move that for selected for development. So that initial time is your lead time to pick that item. Okay. So you can see like uh, in the month of May, our standard deviation is around uh, two to four days, right? If we say like it's a two to four days, then it suddenly get in, in, increased. So might be we have we, we have we have added some tasks which are taking more time or our team uh, because of certain processes our team is now taking more time over there but you can see overall overall our standard deviation is quite consistent so we can predict the future like if with the uh, with respect to the same speed we are creating the task same uh, kind of task we are creating so how much time we are going to take so we can predict that so if suppose this standard deviation is becoming very consistent and it is uh, it, this chart is getting a picture of like this way right so it means we are improving our predictability 
and if you are uh, this this chart this blue line that is rolling average it is moving into the lower direction so it means our efficiency is increasing so we are taking less overall we are uh, improving our efficiency and we are completing our task in a better sense so this is our uh, control chart so if you have any question then you can post your comment uh, on this video so i would try to answer those question so thank you everyone so oh to get some feedback on that thank you thank you everyone.